In 2025, humanoid robots are getting more advanced every day. Some say the progress is happening too quickly. They're training for races, driving cars, dancing for millions of viewers, and now a Robocop in training from China has pulled off a world first. Also, One X's next generation humanoid robot becomes a tech influencer as tensions mount with competitor figure AI. Engine AI says its PM1 is the first humanoid robot to ever perform a front flip. The buzzy Shenzhen startup just shared this footage of its short humanoid demonstrating the capability. In the video, clapping can be heard when the robot completes the stunt. The footage is from Engine's lab, with illustrations on its walls showing heavy Robocop vibes. The robot performs the move without a head attached and then with its head. At the end of the video, Engine says the robot is evolving every day as the PM1 strolls through the Shenzhen Tourist Information Center. Shenzhen-based Engine AI introduced the PM1 in December 2024 as a downsized version of its full-sized flagship humanoid robot, the SE1. The startup captured significant global attention when it emerged from seemingly out of nowhere in October 2024 with a demo showcasing the SE1's human-like walking gait. The PM1 is also noted for its lifelike walk. Engine's robots frequently go viral on social media as video clips of the AI-powered humanoids become increasingly frequent. Recent video clips show the robots undergoing regular training, assisting police officers on the streets, and interacting with the public. According to Chinese state media, Shenzhen's police department is testing Engine's robots as part of an experimental project merging artificial intelligence and law enforcement. Though the PM1's front flip is impressive, the full-sized robot would likely have a more difficult time. At 1.38 meters, the PM1 is 27 centimeters shorter than the full-sized humanoid. It also weighs 8 kilograms less at 40 kilos. Front flips are much more challenging than backflips for both humans and robots. While backflips keep the center of mass aligned, front flips shift weight forward, making it harder to control balance. Backflips also allow for a stronger push from the legs and more reaction time from mid-air adjustments. When successful, front flips have much more rockier landings. Shorter humanoids have an advantage when attempting to front flip due to their lower center of mass. They're inherently harder to tip over and require less torque to rotate. Full-sized humanoids also need stronger joints to absorb the landing impact. The PM1 is competing against other short Chinese humanoids like the Unitree G1 and the T1 by Booster Robotics. All three robots are primarily intended for researchers and developers. The PM1 is notable for undercutting the G1's relatively low price of $16,000. The first humanoid robot to perform a backflip was Atlas by Boston Dynamics in November 2017. The hydraulic-powered robot's advanced balance, coordination, and control was hailed as groundbreaking at the time. Unitree's H1 became the first fully electric humanoid to perform a backflip in March 2024. The rebooted electric version of Atlas demonstrated a backflip in a December 2024 video released for the holidays. Backflips are more challenging for electric humanoids because their motors generate less instantaneous power and torque compared to hydraulic actuators. One X's next generation humanoid robot, the Neo Gamma, played a prominent role in Nothing's new smartphone rollout. The phone through a design has just been revealed. Periscope camera, slick design. Our designers, my soon-to-be best friends, spend months getting it right. A few days after One X Technologies introduced the robot, the Neo Gamma appeared in an unboxing video for the British company's Nothing Phone 3A. In the 40-second promo, the humanoid wears a white lab coat in what looks like a futuristic sterile environment. The robot gives a peace sign, walks to a table, and slowly slides open the device's box. 
The robotic hand gently opens it and removes a sticker. Neil Gamma picks the phone up and observes it. The video ends with the humanoid sitting cross-legged, moving its head while looking at the phone screen. Both One X and Nothing teased a potential collaboration since the Gamma robots unveiling. One X Technologies, which operates out of Norway and California, says it's preparing to test its second-generation bipedal robot in a limited number of real homes. Leading up to the unveiling, Neo Gamma robots were tested at the homes of several One X employees. The unveiling surfaced tension between One X and fellow Silicon Valley robotics startup Figure AI. Figure founder Brett Adcock subtly called out One X on social media, leaving his competitor out of his weekly AI and robotics roundup. From now on, he said he's excluding all robot updates that are teleoperated by a human with the intention of tricking the viewer. It was an obvious reference to 1X's 37-second video introducing Neo Gamma. Replying to a user on X, 1X founder Bernd Bornick said the robot's actions in the video are a mix of autonomous and teleoperation control. When asked whether he was referencing 1X in his post, Adcock said as far as he knows, Figure and Agility Robotics are the only companies whose bipedal humanoids are performing real-world tasks. A small fleet of Figure 2 robots have been working full-time at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina since January. Both Figure and 1X plan to sell their AI-powered humanoids for home use, but they're taking different approaches. While Figure has been focused on industrial tasks for initial deployments, 1X is aiming for the consumer market right away. Both companies are targeting pricing around the cost of a modest vehicle. They're both seen as serious competitors to Tesla, which plans to manufacture 10,000 Optimus humanoid robots this year for internal use. Since Tesla's fall 2024 We Robot event, the company has emphasized the Tesla bot's potential usefulness in households. A day before the Neo Gamma's unveiling, Figure announced its self-developed AI model called Helix. Like 1X, Figure says its technology will enable autonomous humanoid robots to enter homes at scale. Figure shared demo footage showing two Figure 2 robots teaming up to put away groceries after being given verbal instructions. Bornick said 1X will showcase its next-generation robot at a lot of large events in the coming months. Another startup aiming to manufacture futuristic robots for home is taking a radically different approach. For more on clones' work towards synthetic humans, check the related video.